July 14 and day 4 of Steam Summer Sales. I'm Edmund Tran, filling in for Peter Brown, and I'm going to run through our top 5 picks of today's daily deals. After that, I'm going to suggest some ongoing deals of indie games you can get for under $2.50, so stick with me. First up, Kerbal Space Program. Though it's still technically in alpha as part of Steam's early access program, Kerbal already has a diehard following. It's a sandbox style game where you attempt to launch a space vehicle of your own design into space, the moon, or even further depending on your persistence against the game's simulation of the actual physics of Earth and space. Armor 2 is on sale today at $4.41 or $8.49 for the combined operations pack which includes the Operation Arrowhead expansion. The first and third person tactical simulator set a new standard for realistic military simulations when it was released back in 2009. But more importantly, DayZ! More of an RTS kind of person? Total War Shogun 2 is $7.49 today and it won a GameSpot's Editor's Choice Award. Waging War in Feudal Japan has never felt so grand as Shogun 2, a game which is stylistically gorgeous and brimming with character on top of the series' deep strategic gameplay, whether it be at the high level planning stage or down the ground sending hundreds of troops to their deaths. Haven't played Portal 2 yet? Are you f***ing serious? Okay, well don't tell anyone else and pick it up right now. It's 75% off at 4 dollars and available for PC and Mac. Portal 2 is a Valve classic. We gave it an Editor's Choice Award in our review because of its immensely clever writing, delightful puzzles, and hugely entertaining characters. People with brain damage are the real heroes. We've previously mentioned Fallout New Vegas as an ongoing deal you should check out, but today it's part of the daily deals at an insane $2.50 and worth mentioning again. With the PC mod scene still going strong, if you're a fan of Fallout, Skyrim, or Bethesda stuff in general, you'll probably want to throw your spare change at this content-packed wasteland adventure. Okay, so moving on to our ongoing sales, the prices on the following games are persistent until July 22, and are all great indie games you can get for under $2.50. First up, we have Pixel Junk Eden by Q Games, which was a PlayStation Network title but hopped over to the PC last year. It's a game with beautiful visuals and a stunning soundtrack. You control a small creature you can swing around like a tiny Spider-Man and fling yourself through the environments to pollinate the psychedelic garden stages. Next up, we have Terry Kavanaugh's Vs, a brutally difficult but fun as hell 2D puzzle platformer. You control Captain Viridian in search of his lost spaceship crew, and instead of jumping, the main mechanic is the ability to control gravity, flipping between the floors and the ceilings of the environment. Graphically inspired by the Commodore 64 and a chiptune soundtrack to end all chiptune soundtracks, this one comes highly recommended. 30 Flights of Loving by Blendo Games will probably only take you 15 minutes to finish. You don't shoot anything, you don't solve any puzzles, and it's completely linear. But it's probably one of the most unusual, powerful, and defining narratives you'll ever experience in video games. The less said about it, the better. But for $2.50, how can you go wrong? Starseed Pilgrim is a bit of a strange one, but if you're patient enough to overcome it, it's an especially rewarding challenge. Starseed is a minimalist puzzle game that tells you absolutely nothing about how to play it, what to do, or where to go. Everything is discovered by your own ingenuity. We gave it an 8.0 in our review because it gave you a great satisfaction of progress and it was an excellent example of an emergent narrative. So if you're curious, you'll need to throw down 250. And finally we have Cart Life, which won the grand prize at the Independent Games Festival at this year's Game Developers Conference. In it, you live out the everyday lives of street vendors in the Western United States, attempting to keep your business afloat and make enough money to live while trying to deal with life outside work, such as picking up your daughter from school. It's a uniquely stressful and emotional experience that makes you really care about the well-being of these wonderful characters. That's all we got for today. We'll have more on the Steam sales this coming week. But if you have any good game suggestions, please leave them in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter. And in the meantime, make sure you leave that credit card out and deal with it.